Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about the crime of second-degree murder. Now, in Arizona, the definition is, did somebody cause a death intentionally? Knowingly, that means they knew their conduct will cause serious physical injury or death, or with extreme indifference uh, to human life, and they recklessly engaged in the conduct which created a grave risk of injury or death. That means you're just shooting a gun in the air and or drive by, we're just firing at a building, and of course the bullet could go through and hit somebody inside. Now this is overcharged a lot. A lot of times you'll see them, the prosecutor charge second degree murder when really it's a manslaughter or a negligent homicide. For example, a, a DUI death. It really should be a manslaughter charge to start out with, not a second degree murder. Or if somebody's shooting a gun in the air with their friends and um, somehow one ricochets and hits somebody else, it, it really shouldn't be second degree. That's more of a, a purely a reckless standard of con uh, care instead of reckless standard of conduct. Now, punishment. If a person has no prior convictions, they're looking at 10 years minimum, 16 is the presumptive, 22 is the max, and that's day for day prison time. The policy offer at the Maricopa County Attorney's Office or most of the county attorney's offices is a 10 to 16 year offer. Many times we get them to drop it to manslaughter and give the minimum of seven years, which is really about five and a half years of actual time. So it does matter if you're charged with um, second degree or manslaughter. Now the defenses, there's always self-defense. Were you defending yourself, others? Were you inside your house, the castle doctrine, protecting property? We look into all of that. There's supervening cause. Yes, there may have been a fight and somebody was sent to the hospital, but did they die because of negligence of the hospital staff? Did the ambulance get hit on the way to the hospital? Was there something else that caused the death? Or were there two bullet wounds from two different bullets? That often can be a debate of supervening cause. We have very good experts. We have tool mark experts that judge the spiral on a bullet from the inside of the barrel. They call it rifling or tool mark. We have ballistics experts, DNA experts, both mitochondrial and trace DNA. Gunshot residue, blood spatter, crime scene reconstruction, human factors experts. We also attack with Miranda rights violations, right to counsel violations, all sorts of different attacks on second-degree murder cases. If you go to our victory section, you'll see we have numerous cases where we either had it dismissed outright, won it at trial, knocked it down to something other than second-degree, maybe to uh, manslaughter, or all the way down to negligent homicide. In fact, we had one case um, where a gentleman was uh, going to be indicted for second-degree. We attacked it at grand jury, got it down to negligent homicide. Ultimately, he ended up doing um, 17 months in custody. That's a lot better than 10 to 22 years. So go to our site www.dmcantor.com or just dmcantor.com or give us a call at 602-307-0808. Set a free initial consultation. It'll take about an hour on these types of cases. We do it for free. We'll look into every fact involving the case and we will see if we can get you or a loved one out of this either factually or technically. So I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.